Over the past few years, I have become an expert at day trips. As you will have seen on this channel, we go out all the time into nature, but they're always for just one day. Now, over the past few years, I've watched so many people go out and do wild camping, go out and do bushcraft, and I've always loved that sense of adventure and wanted to get involved. So I've decided that we are going to go on an adventure. This is going to be a short two-day adventure with one overnight. And in this video, I'm going to talk you through the plans of this adventure and I'm going to talk you through how it's actually going to work. Now, this adventure will be a wildlife photography exhibition. We're going to be traveling an area of natural beauty to get awesome wildlife photos, fingers crossed. And when it comes to the adventure part, we're going to be doing a road trip, traveling around a relatively large area. And to stay, we're going to be camping in this car. Yes, that's right. We're going to be camping in a smart car. One of the biggest reasons I haven't gone traveling yet is feeling underprepared, not only in myself, but having a lack of equipment. So today we have come to the supermarket and I spent the past week stocking up on camping equipment that I might need. Here are a few of the items I've bought. And here we have my bed. Looks comfy, doesn't it? Now you may have noticed I drive a smart car. It's a four seater smart car. So it's not one of those tiny two seaters, but it is still a smart car and begs the question, how on earth am I going to sleep in here? Well, the answer is simple. And this car is ingenious. By the way, the seats fold down. I have done a full review on this car where I go through all the specifications and I talk about the seats folding down, but I will give you a quick demonstration now on how I'm going to make a bed within this tiny car. So first of all, we can fold down these back seats by pulling a little tag here. They fold down completely flat. Next, we go to the front seat. And similarly, that can fold down completely flat, leaving us oh, it's a bit of a squish with this huge area that you can easily sleep in. So having the bed sorted, is a huge tick on the checklist. 
I have an airbed, as you saw earlier, which will help to turn it into a super comfy place to stay the night. But how am I going to get privacy? Well, I've been planning this trip for a long time. And about this time last year, I actually created two of these. Now, these are large window panels. These will go in the back windows. This black material will point outwards, so people walking by should just think it's got a tint, and the white will point inwards, making my area as bright as possible. I also have a large blackout curtain in the boot, which will hang around the front windshield and the two front windows. I also have those nets that you saw earlier, so I can lower a window and have some ventilation, because I'm very aware it's going to get very hot within this car. That's where, as you saw earlier, the fan is going to come in handy, keeping the air circulating. I don't want to get this car too hot and moist. I don't want too much condensation. So having those window covers for ventilation should be really good. And this is where I'm trying to forward think to all the problems that might happen. So I just want to take a minute to talk about some of the reasons why it's taken me so long to actually go out for the first time and do one of these adventures. And I'm also then going to show you how I've tied that into my planning and how you can do the same if you want to go out on one of these adventures. I also want to say I am not an expert. My planning could be completely wrong, but I have done a fair bit of research. So I'm hoping that everything will go smoothly. I love an adventure. As you can see on this channel, I'm always out going on an adventure in lots of new places. It's so exciting to explore and there's a whole world out there which we can roam more than we think. So that thought of going out and being free and just exploring is something that I love, that sense of being free. But it's also quite intimidating because you're going out to places that you don't know. And especially as a younger adult like myself, where you're kind of getting to grips with the freedom of being able to explore and learn, especially when you're doing it on your own, it can just make you kind of recline into that comfort zone of doing the day trips that I've been doing, for example. Now, don't worry, there'll be plenty of day trips because my schedule doesn't allow me to go on many large adventures, but I want to push myself to go on these adventures and have that freedom. And the word free is also a big one because most people like myself have no budget for travel. And so being able to go out somewhere cheaply is something that can hold people back. Now, lots of people like hotel rooms and I don't blame them. Who wants to sleep in a tent or in a car? However, if you're watching this video, you probably have some sort of interest in wild camping or car camping and so it's a great way of getting out and being free for free. So I'm not sure how this trip's gonna go. I've never slept in my car before, but over these next few days, I want to see what it's gonna be like to live in the car for absolutely nothing. I'm paying for petrol to get to where I want to go. But if I was in a hotel, I'd still be paying for petrol. So I'm essentially getting free accommodation and yes, it's not luxury, but, it's a bit of a challenge and I quite enjoy a challenge. Equipment is the next one, which I want to talk about where you feel like you need lots of equipment, lots of the specialist equipment to do something like this. And I'm sure they make it better. I, on the other hand, don't have too much equipment. Now I've been camping a couple of times in my life, but I'm no expert. I didn't even have an airbed as you saw, but we've got that covered now. But I also want to emphasize, make the most of what you've got. Now I'm expecting a little bit of rain on this trip and I have a poncho which I've had for a very long time and it could come in handy for building a shelter or for just covering me and my bag as I'm walking. This poncho however did have a tear in it but I didn't want to buy a whole new one so I got my sewing machine out and I repaired this this poncho and that's been really good for saving money mainly. It's also given me more skills when it comes to repairing and I think making the most of what you've got when you go out and do a trip like this is a great way to not only develop yourself and your own ability of survival, it also saves money. Comment down below in the description the things that you think could hold you back or have held you back and that you've had to overcome because I think it's really helpful to make this a community of people who actually encourage each other to go out and do these awesome adventures who we can read down the description and see that we're all the same. We're all in the same boat 
and we're all in the same world. Now this sun beating down in the car is getting very hot and that's something I'm aware of when I'm camping. This car is going to get pretty hot if it's sunny. But fingers crossed the ventilation and the fan will be enough. And so that is pretty much all of the planning done for this trip. As you can imagine, there is lots that we just don't know and won't know until we go on the trip. I hope you've enjoyed this video and before you go, hit that like and subscribe if you want to come with me on this adventure, if you want all of the latest updates. It's gonna be a really fun one. So I would not miss out if I were you. It's been a pleasure and next time I'll see you, we'll be on the road trip.